Let's do some practice on the rhythm patterns. So I've got my drumsticks. I've got a drumming pad. I want to make sure that whatever I'm using for my drumming pad is something that can make a sound. I want to make sure that the camera can see me drumming, but preferably can also see my face. You may want to have to rearrange a little bit to where I can see both. If I have to choose between only seeing my face and only seeing drumming, I want to pick the drumming so I actually see the music going on, but preferably I find a way that I can see both in the picture. So using your rhythmic patterns sheet and using headphones so you can have a metronome going on without the metronome being heard in the recording, this is the kind of general setup that you're going to look for, something along these lines. So let's take a second and practice the first few. So I've got my tempo, and I'm going to start each line by counting off. Watch your rhythm. Three, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one. And you're just counting in your head. You're not counting out loud in the recording. We just want to hear the drumming. And then you'll stop the recording and you'll start a new recording for each new line. You have to do the line at least four times and if you lose count, just keep going until you're absolutely certain you've done it four times. Having extra isn't a problem, having not enough is a problem. Okay, so now we're gonna look at line two. And again, with each of these recordings, you wanna do a whole new video, have a, a good solid setup. Your setup doesn't have to be exactly the same for every video. In fact, it's kind of nice if it varies a little bit here and there, but um, make sure that with each one we can see the drumming, we can see you. Okay, number two, we're thinking about our tempo. I'm listening to my, my uh, tempo in my headphones, and when I start recording, then I go, and I'll think one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and four, and. and of course we repeat it. We do it four times total. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Make sure you can hear your tempo in your headphones, but we can't hear your headphones. We only want to hear your drumming. If you want to do it extra times, you can do it extra times. Make each one nice and clear and steady. Nice, steady rhythm. And then you'll stop that recording, and then you'll start up a new recording for the next one. Here's number three. And again, each time I start recording, I count myself off with my sticks, so that way I can know where to sync your recording with all the other things. If you don't count yourself off with this, it makes it a lot harder. Here we go. Number three, one, and two, and three.
And you'll just do that four times. Make sure you're in sync with the, the tempo of the metronome each time. You know, don't try to do this without a metronome. Don't try to do this just by guessing the tempo. You're absolutely going to get it wrong. You need to have the tempo going the whole time in your ear as you're drumming along with it. Okay, let's look at number four now. We've got right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left. That's our pattern. So it'll be one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. We'll slow it down once just to get a feeling for it. Right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. right left, right, left, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so now we've got the basic idea. We'll take it up to tempo. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and here we go, count. Just nice and steady. Make sure the ones and threes get a little bit more accent. Keep mindful of your tempo. When you do them all, you stop the recording, you start up a new one. Okay, let's look at number five. Number five gave a few people some trouble. So it's going to be one and three, four and. So it'll be right, left, right, right, left. So that's again, right, and then a beat, left, right, right, left. Or one, two, and three, four, and. You're just not going to drum on two. One, two, and three, four, and right, two, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, if not, you go back and review that as many times as you need to, to where you get that feeling of that beat two having a little bit of a pause for it. Okay, now we'll do it into the tempo. Remember, each time you start a new recording, you count yourself off. Here we go. That fourth measure is different. Left, right, left. So again, it's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, 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 left. There we go. So now let's look at number six. Number six is closely related to five. If you got number five where you go the one and three, just take the three out. One and four. One and four. Right, left. 
right, one, and four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, right? So you're just going to think about the, the and of two and then four. If you look at the rhythm for number five, one, and three, four, and, you're going to take the third note and the fifth note out. One, and, four, one, and, four, right? You're just taking notes out from number five. Here's number five. Here's number six. A lot of people find it helpful to kind of bounce with the beats, with the quarter notes, so you, you have a little bounce on two before you come in at two. You have a little bounce on three before you come in at four. Something like that. And let's play number let's play number six here. And notice that the last measure is different from the rest of it. Again, you start a new recording and then you count yourself off. And of course, you can play extra if you want extra practice, or if you just like your rhythm, you want to keep playing. When you're done, you stop recording, then you start up the new one. So that's all of the first segment, the first page, the first homework assignment. Uh, in the next video, we'll look at the next page and the next set of them. Uh, use this to practice. Again, follow the instructions carefully. Make sure you're using headphones so that you can hear your metronome but we can't hear it in your recording. Make sure the camera shows, at very least, shows you drumming and what you're drumming on so we can see all of that, but also preferably shows you as well, shows your face as well. If we uh, only see your face, we don't see your drumming, we have no idea what you're doing, so we make sure we wanna see that. If you don't have drumsticks, then try to find something that can approximate it, a, a wooden spoon or a dowel rod or something like that. Um, if you have to use something, you know, like a pencil or a pen, make sure that whatever you're using to strike it against actually still gives you a good sound from that and a good punch and a good attack so that we can hear it. Seeing it is important, but hearing it is as or even more important. Uh, good luck, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with.